Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. This reading is targeted towards Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe or a share. That would be very much appreciated, Libra. Thanks so much in advance. Let's have a look, Libra. When will you meet your soulmate? Okay, let's start off with the King of Pentacles. Now, this could be a Taurus or an Aquarius coming in around you here in terms of signs. The King of Pentacles does represent the time of Taurus, which can rule April 20th to May 20th. So for some of you Librans watching, it could indicate that you've either met this person in this time or you might meet them in the time of Taurus in the upcoming year. Um, King of Pentacles does represent quite a established, stable, successful energy. So for a lot of you, you might be meeting a soulmate at a time when you're reaching a, a very prestigious um, role or title um, in your career, maybe in creative pursuits, or when you're becoming much more established in the living situation, or just have a much better handle on life, stability, routine, and consistency. The King of Pentacles is also quite worldly. Because Taurus is ruled by Venus, it can represent quite a romantic energy. So you might even have a few romances happening around you when this soulmate enters your life, Libra. Also, the King of Pentacles can represent ownership assets and a large amount of money so there could be quite a bit of material or um, I guess material wealth and success that comes in around you or you could be reaching a level in your career or creative pursuits um, where there is a lot of uh, accolades or um, financial stability or financial freedom that's coming in around you. You might also be meeting them after the purchase of a home, the purchase of a large asset as well. But like I said, it's Venus energy, so eroticism, culture, okay, you might be learning a new language, you might be learning about foreign customs, uh, might be learning to play a musical instrument even. King of Pentacles is very well read, very life learned and also very wise and does have that worldly energy to him. So you might be meeting someone through these avenues. Now, these two cards are pentacle cards, so I'm inclined to believe some of you might be meeting someone through your career, your job, your role, whether it's temporary, whether it's long term, uh, whether this is someone that comes to work at your company or you come to work with them. Uh, contracts, goods, services and products could be binding the two of you together, sort of pushing you into each other's lives somehow, because that nine of pentacles can represent money and wealth and material success. The Nine of Pentacles can also represent being very, very complacent or happy where you are physically in your life. This could be in a living situation. This could be where you work. Um, it's also, a, 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 this person is going to come into your life at a time when you're learning to be more present in the moment because nothing or no one distracts the Nine of Pentacles. He is exactly where he needs to be or she. Could be a he or a she. Um, basking in what he has he's very much in an attitude of gratitude he's very thankful and he acknowledges the blessings that he has around him so if you haven't been thankful or sometimes you lose track of what you're grateful for what you have around you and sometimes you forget to be present in the moment libra it's a little bit hard um i'm an air sign too so it's all it's sometimes difficult to just be in the moment because we have to analyze and think and be carried away with our thoughts and it's a gift it really is but in one way it distracts us from what's really important and that's being present in the moment that's appreciating what we have our accomplishments you know giving ourselves a pat on the back feeling grateful for the people the places the experiences that have come into our lives that have blessed our lives so for a lot of you Again, it could point to material success, but for a lot of you, this soulmate is coming in at a period where you're so comfortable, so complacent, so happy with the way things are going in your life, or so grateful for what has happened or what has yet to happen, that you're going to attract and draw this person in like the stars will align for the both of you, and this is when the two of you will connect. For others, however, the Seven of Cups coming up here indicates that you might be on a path of achieving or fulfilling ambitions or new goals. 
As much as the Seven of Cups can be seen as scattered energy, Libra, it can also be seen as an energy where we want to uh, put new goals out there to the universe. We, we, we make new wishes. We put new things out there into our vortex uh, to attract them, to experience them. I feel with the Seven of Cups, for some of you, you might be meeting at a time when you're making new wishes in your life, um, overlooking goals, creating new goals even. The Seven of Cups, I mean, it can be the scattered energy, so it could be emotionally. Things might be a little bit up in the air for you when this person comes up. Maybe you're questioning your intentions about yourself, questioning intentions from another person. Maybe emotionally you're not sure how you feel about another person. Maybe your attention is quite divided, quite scattered amongst different goals, people, places, things, experiences um, as well. And that's when this person could be coming in. But I really feel the Seven of Cups with the Star card represent wish manifestation. This is the law of attraction because you are the, you've got the power to control your thoughts to conjure up images of the person you want coming in. And the star card is just that. It's wishing upon a star. It's, it's putting the wish out there to the universe, to your spirit guides, to God, to whatever it is that you believe in, whatever higher power, you know, your higher self. This is putting that wish out there uh, with the star card, wishing upon the star. This can also be the sign of Aquarius. It might be an Aquarius coming in Libra, or it might be that you're meeting in the time of Aquarius, which rules the dates January 20th to February 18th. It could also indicate that destiny is currently at play, that you might be already connected to, affiliated with someone who is a soulmate because destiny is playing out for you at this point in time. Now, Aquarius is represented by the water bearer, which you can see holds the, the vessels here, pouring out the water. And water in this deck symbolizes purification, healing and reconciliation. So for some of you, this person might be coming in once you're healing from a heartbreak. They might be coming in when you finally forgive yourself for the wrongdoings, when you forgive another person for their wrongdoings, uh, when you've reconciled with the past maybe. This could be traumatic experiences in your, from your childhood, from a relationship, from a friendship, uh, from a business deal that might have fallen through. But it is a period of healing and restoring and cleansing. So you might be doing a detox, for example, when this person comes into your life. You might be on a meditation retreat. You might be on the road to recovery in terms of health, maybe mental health. Maybe you're recovering from a heartbreak or something that has hurt you, Libra. But there's a message or a symbolism here that that could be when you're connecting with this person and when they're entering your life. The star card could also be prestigiousness, fame, prominence, releasing something out there to the world, the world knowing your name, having a reputation um, in the industry, in the career path that you're in, in the community, for example. So it could be that some of you might be meeting this person when you've attained a level of accolades, accomplishment, fame, even notoriety. This could be coming in around you and that's when this person might enter your life. But it's written in the stars and the star card could also point to a lot of astrological compatibility between the both of you. But again, much like yourself, if you are in a period of healing, this person could also be mirroring your behavior and together you will both strengthen your bonds through inspiring, encouraging and uplifting each other as well. Very, very beautiful here, Libra. I will leave your reading at that, however. Thank you again for tuning 